When you cast your vote in an election in San Francisco, you might cast your vote at City Hall, at your neighborhood polling place, or choose to vote by mail. Ever wonder what happens after you cast your vote? What is the process for tallying votes in San Francisco? And how is your vote counted? Let's follow your ballot from the moment you finish voting to when the election tally is officially certified by the Department of Elections. First, we'll look at what happens to your vote at a polling place. When you cast your vote, your ballot is fed into a Dominion Voting Systems machine called an Insight. It reads your ballot, and the data is stored inside on a memory cartridge. Dominion Voting Systems, based in Denver, Colorado, provide San Francisco with voting machines, high-speed ballot scanners, and software used to count votes. When the poll closes, the memory cartridge is removed from the Insight by the poll supervisor, known as an inspector. The cartridge is stored in a special anti-static bag and sealed. Then a San Francisco parking officer takes official custody of the cartridge to deliver it to City Hall. Thank you. Have Thank a you. good night. The custody of the actual completed ballots is transferred by the inspector to a deputy sheriff who delivers them on election night to Pier 48, managed by the Department of Elections. All right. On election night, Pier 48 is a hub of activity. Sheriffs bringing ballots from polls line up outside, waiting for their turn to deliver to the teams inside the pier. It's a long night for these election employees. Staff unpack and sort all the ballot bags and account for all of the rosters, any provisional ballots, vote by mail ballots dropped off at polling places, and the sealed containers from edge machines. The Insight ballots are counted by a machine to verify the Insight machine total of ballots entered for each polling place. There's still more to do with these ballots, and we'll get back to them a little later. Meanwhile, at City Hall, the Department of Elections sets up a one-night-only uploading center staffed by city employees, ready to handle delivery and processing of the memory cartridges by the parking officers. On election night, we set up the uploading center here at City Hall uh, so we can process the votes as quickly and accurately as possible. First, the sealed election bag is placed on a reader, which records its delivery. Next, the cartridges and custody transfer papers are unpacked and checked in by our staff. Then the cartridges uh, with the votes for each precinct are fed into readers, which are running Dominion Win EDS software. These readers transmit the vote result by a closed fiber optic line directly to the department's computer room for tabulation. Back at the polling place on election day, you might also have cast your vote using the EDGE voting machine. The EDGE is a multilingual audio and touchscreen system that allows voters with limited vision or other disabilities to have full access to the official ballot. Edge votes are recorded on a paper printout that is stored in a sealed container attached to the Edge machine. I also need the Edge printer. Right there, the edge. black there. Sure. At the end of election day, a deputy sheriff takes custody of the sealed container from each Edge machine. And you only have one Edge printer, right? Yes. Yes. And these deputies transport the sealed container along with the sealed bags containing the voted ballots to the department's warehouse on Pier 48. Department of Elections staff opens the sealed container from every edge machine and reviews its printed record. Here at the department warehouse, Teams of two people remove the record from each edge printer 
and check and double check to confirm whether or not votes were cast. If votes are recorded on an edge printer, a team of two people remake the vote onto a blank paper ballot from that precinct. Then a different team of two people compare the remade ballot with the original edge record to confirm the votes and correct any errors. All the edge printer records are archived. The custody of these remade ballots is transferred to deputy sheriffs. They, along with two department employees, transport these ballots to City Hall. Then they're fed into the 400C machines for counting. That way, all the votes cast on the edge machine are included in the election tally. Voters are encouraged to vote at their assigned polling place. People who cast their vote at a polling place other than their assigned polling place are called provisional voters. Their ballots are placed in special envelopes and taken to City Hall for voter verification by election staff. Verification includes checking to see if the voter is registered in San Francisco. If the voter is registered in San Francisco, their votes are counted for the correct contests for where they are registered. More than 60% of San Francisco voters cast their vote by mail. Ballots cast at City Hall are also processed as vote by mail ballots. Before you receive your ballot in the mail, it has to be received and sorted by the U.S. Postal Processing and Distribution Center on Evans Avenue, the largest mail processing facility in San Francisco. So it's a, a quite a large operation about 1,500 employees throughout three shifts. It runs 24-7, 365 days a year. And today what we have is uh, the day when all of the ballots for the city of San Francisco have arrived at the plant. And from here, they'll be processed uh, for delivery. So over here, we have a truck that has already come in. We're expecting about 218,000 ballots to come into the plant today on six different trucks. And so far, we re we've received three of the trucks. And as you can see, there's a lot of mail here. Right now, we're getting ready to run the mail on a digital barcode sorter. First, we put it into carrier route sequence, and then we put it into carrier walk sequence. So it's really efficient for the delivery of the ballots out to our constituents. Voters drop off nearly 25% of all returned vote-by-mail ballots at polling places rather than using the mail. At the end of the day, custody of these ballots is transferred to a deputy sheriff who transports them to Pier 48. At the pier, ballots are collected, the number returned is noted, and quickly transported by two deputy sheriffs and two department employees to City Hall for processing. Before any counting of any vote-by-mail ballot can happen, the voters' signatures must be verified. So first, the unopened vote-by-mail ballots are run through a scanner, which takes a picture of the envelope barcode and voter signature. The barcode identifies the voter and precinct, and this information, along with the voter signature, is sent electronically to the Voter Services Division for verification. Well, here in Voter Services, we check the signature on the ballot envelope with the signature on the voter registration file. The voter's name, precinct, and signature are entered into the election information management system. Staff reviews the voter's information and signature on file and visually compares the signature. Then we accept or challenge the validity of the ballot. If the ballot is accepted, the voter's record notes that they have voted in this election. The acceptance status of the ballots is then sent electronically back to the scanner. The envelopes are run through the scanner again to sort out any unverified ballots. On the second scanner pass, the ballots are also sorted by precinct. Voter services staff then re-examines each challenge ballot, making extra effort to contact the voter and assist them to correct the ballot so it can be verified and their votes count. Although accepted vote-by-mail ballot envelopes used to be opened by hand, they are now opened by an OPEX rapid extraction machine. 
It helped open the envelope on two sides and these suctions on the machine that opens the flap, uh, it pulls it out so then it's, you can just reach in and easily pick up the, the ballot. It's probably twice as fast as a manual process. The ballots are then scanned by a Dominion 400C high-speed scanner, which actually counts votes on each ballot card. At the same time, employees check the Dominion tally sheet and compare it to the machine printout. The scanner sometimes can't read a ballot due to damage or light markings by the voter. These ballots are transferred by hand to a new ballot by a two-person team. These new ballots are then run through the scanner and the votes are added to the final tabulation. Wonder where your ballot is once you've mailed it? Thanks to a unique service of the department, you can confirm your ballot was received, check the status in progress, and confirm your vote was ultimately counted using the department's ballot tracking tool at sfelections.org. At the end of each day, we transfer the data from the high-speed scanners onto this laptop and we tabulate uh, the votes using the Dominion software running on this computer. On the server, these votes are combined with the votes already transmitted from the memory cartridges. Once the data is loaded on this laptop, the server tabulates the votes, we generate a report and post it on our website. Along with contest results, the report also includes a precinct by precinct breakdown of votes cast at polling places and by mail, a neighborhood and district statement of vote, and a neighborhood turnout report. We are very proud of our eData tool. It contains a lot of information about elections, including one of the most popular, which is voter registration, broken down by party and district. Going forward, we'll look to continue improving the tool. You'd think that's the end of this story, but there's still more work out at Pier 48 that needs to be done. California Election Code requires a public manual tally of ballots representing 1% of the precincts which are chosen at random by an election official. So for the 1% manual tally, the ballots from the selected precincts are counted by hand here at the department warehouse. Basically, teams of four election employees check if the votes on the ballot match the machine tally. There are three steps to this public manual tally. First, in each team, one person calls the vote from the ballot, while another person observes the vote on the ballot, and two people tally the vote that is called. Second, the two tally people confirm that they have the same results. Finally, these hand tallies are compared and confirmed with the electronic vote. This 1% manual tally is one of the last steps in declaring the final official results of the election. So from your home or neighborhood polling place to City Hall, by memory cartridge, high-speed scanner, or even manually, your vote is tabulated and the results end up printed, posted, and declared certified by the San Francisco Department of Elections.